guys. Good Saturday morning to ya. Good Saturday morning. I don't know why I'm turned into an Irishman all of a sudden on a Saturday. What, you know, sometimes I'm like, I wonder why, like, I, like sometimes we'll say, oh, good Friday evening. When, you know, like a week from now, somebody's watching this at like seven o'clock on a Wednesday. I, I guess it's just when you're doing this YouTube stuff, it's kind of in the moment. But anyways, I digress. I have got a Bonobo Peninsula going. Um, these guys are really, really fun to watch, especially when they're all kind of out here jumping around. Sometimes they, they really like to sleep. Uh, so they spend quite a bit of time back here in their little shelter. Oh, here goes one up. Let's see. To Sigwe. To Sajigwe. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that is our uh, kind of like our. Uh, the, she has had a ton of babies here. The, actually, there goes one right there. Look at this. Amina. Really, really cool. But I wanted to keep going with our. Um, our natural type of habitat idea to where not everything is hidden behind fencing. So that is kind of what we come up with on this. And luckily, when I first started this, oh, when I first started this, they I had like three or four escapes. They kept kind of getting out over here. So I had to make the water a little deeper, push it a little far back. But once I kind of shored up that little area over there, I have not had any more issues, any more escapes. And uh, you've got to watch out for these guys because they are kind of all over the place. Um, just kind of went in and just went haphazard all over the place with their climbing structures. I know that, you know, this is such a, like an integral part of their, um, you know, just their lives and their uh, you know, their playfulness and their enjoyment that I wanted this to be like the the centerpiece of where people can look on and kind of enjoy them um, and, you know, just kind of learn about them and just watch them interact. See, like she's playing, you see her just playing with the little baby over here? She just had him, she was just holding him up by the arms. <laughs> That is stinking cool, but they don't mess with the water too much now. Um, the only thing they really do is they will come down to the edge of it, and you'll see them drinking out of it. But other than that, they uh, they don't really um, they they kind of stay away from it, so I don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, they had they started having the babies really really quick. Um, if you haven't seen this before, they do clean each other. <laughs> I thought that was really really cool. Like, what are you doing? But these guys, like I said, they are all over the place. Really, really fun to watch. Probably the funnest animal that I have, um, probably the funnest one I've put down yet, just of sheer um, backing out and actually just watching them play and climb this stuff. And I, I don't know, like, I know some of you guys are playing the game right now. Some of you haven't gotten it yet. Um, there is no, absolutely no cooler feeling than when you build this stuff and then watch the AI, like, traverse it. Like, w actually watch your animals learn it and uh, traverse it. Now, also, too, to go with that, there was such an immense amount of programming and trial and error that Frontier had to go through with this that don't get frustrated if you start moving pieces around and all of a sudden the animals get boxed up and sent back to the entrance. That's just how the game handles it as far as, you know, these like this AI is, is mapping out in real time. Uh, changes you're making so you'll you'll notice um, if you're over here and they're up on your climbing structures and you start deleting stuff and moving ropes and logs it will automatically box them up so it'll keep doing that kind of until you're done messing with it or until you kind of have it how you want it so like I said just don't get disheartened you just kind of have to finish up what you're doing and then um, like we said it kind of maps out um, it, it maps out the new course for them because like we said it does that that's how incredible this is M Making changes on the fly in real time and the animals know what to climb on and what they can't anymore um, We've got the premium experience over here like the uh, season pass experience the uh, the keepers will actually bring you up um, Into their little hut up here and you can walk out um, onto this bridge and kind of get a little bit um, you know, a special kind of vantage point that the regular guests don't get. 
and can get up pretty close uh, pretty close with the animals, so I thought that was pretty fun. That's what we're also trying to do, I think, with each of these builds, um, as, as much as we can, um, is trying to get those uh, the premium-type experience, especially particularly with people that really help out with the zoo, donors, stuff like that. Um, you definitely want to kind of have their extra little, um, extra little perks and such. Uh, to, to help keep those dollars uh, flowing in. So, uh, but yeah, that is what I wanted to jump in and just get your guys' thoughts on our Bonobo uh, Peninsula. And if you look at their, um, let's see, if you look at their little Zoopedia file here, they are from right just in the lower heart of Africa. Um, let's see, male bachelor group size 3 to 10, they're expected to live 40 years each size, uh, males are a little bit bigger than females, um, sexual maturity at 11, they'll stop being sexual at 50 years old, they have one offspring, and it takes them about 8 months to actually have, uh, the baby, so they are, um, they are pretty pretty cool animal to have group size three to ten seven males seven females so we're not quite to that yet but we are uh they are definitely on their way to uh to building us a little family here so i thought that was really really cool and you don't really have to worry about them as much as the like the rhinoceroses and the and the crocodiles and all that um they actually speaking of rhinoceroses rohan and uh and uh they actually had a new little baby here, Sidharth. So he's about almost five years old now. Little cute guy. Uh, we did end up getting rid of Bainu. Uh, we, you know, because like, like I said, his uh, his brother came along, and uh, we don't we don't really know what was kind of going to start happening between the dad over here, our big boy, and uh, and the mom. So we kind of just went ahead and got him out of there. And uh, what else do we need to check on with you guys? Oh, our tortoises. They had some more babies. Look, there's little babies all over the stinking place over here. Whoops. This is, okay, there's Diego. You remember him. This is Alejandro. Really, really cute little guy. And over here, being mischievous. As always, I knew Alina. Uh-oh. Who's starving? We will not stand for it. Uh-oh. Speaking of Bonobos, Khaled is <laughs> starving. So we will... Uh, whoops. Whoa. We will get in here and try to get these guys fed. Uh, kind of find out what's going on. They love this little. They love the little tree enrichment item here. If you're actually close enough and they're and they're feeding out of it, you'll see they'll sit here and they actually take a little stick and they poke in there, um, you know, to try to get the termites and stuff out. So I thought that was a. Uh, that was really, really neat. Um, what other update can I give you guys? Probably do it. Might, might even do another video this evening because it's Saturday and I'm kind of home all day to kind of mess with this. I was thinking about maybe doing a theater show or something. Um, let's see. I added the uh, second little um, warehouse building over here. So you've got 8A, 8B. Um, tr like I said, we'll try to block it off from, from the guest view uh, as much as we can. And um, what's some other thoughts I had I was going to tell you guys about and just see what did we need to do? Oh, I know what we were doing. Um, somebody, I think it was Coaster Zinger was asking me, because he didn't have the game yet, was asking me to show off the transport rides and what they look like. So we'll give you about five seconds here. If you still want to be surprised by those, uh, I would go ahead and leave the video now or skip ahead a little bit because uh, I'll go ahead and show you what these look like. So uh, we will go to our facilities and then our transport rides. So you basically, you've got the truck that I'm sure, you know, if you guys have not been living under a rock and not keeping up, or not keeping up with this stuff, you might have already seen. So there is the truck, which, you know, we'll get, we'll get this in eventually. I just don't know kind of how we want to do it. I don't know if we're going to have like a safari area like we did with the Planet uh, Coaster Zoo. So I don't know. We'll just kind of, we'll feel that out and we'll see about that. 
Um, let's see. Next, I'll show you the monorail. So it's not like some big monorail like you might have been thinking in, um, like in Planet Coaster, but absolutely adorable little monorail. I, I think I definitely want to get this up too. Maybe I was thinking once the zoo progresses and we move farther out here, because look, I mean, like, like I said last night, as much as we've been working on this, look how much space is still to go. Like we have got a ton of space out here. Um, I was thinking if we do another little market area, how cool would it be to have this like going down the like the middle of the shops, so like the middle of the street, but you know elevated up in the air and have the shops on each side, and this kind of weaves its way in and out of that shop area. So. Keep on, keep on the lookout for that. Once we progress a little more, I think I want to do something like that. I think you guys would really, really dig that. And, uh, whoops, let's go. Facilities, um, the transport boat. Really, really cool job on this boat. And I'm not sure. I know that that is, um, let's just see. See, I don't think there's a way... This is the only actual boat model. At first, I was wondering if they do. Like, see how this one's kind of like more African, maybe even Indian themed. I was wondering if there was going to be like a gener like generic kind of switch out options, you know, like modern world, uh, stuff like that. But I don't think there is. I think these are the options as far as that goes. Um, then, of course, you've got the gorgeous, gorgeous transport train, the little steam train, yeah. Really, really cool on that. I get Hogwarts vibes out of this. <laughs> and then last, but definitely not least, we've got the suspended gondola. Really, really cool. Definitely might incorporate this if we do a, uh, a savannah type build, you know? Like with the giraffes, zebras, stuff like that. That animation on that door was really, really cool. But these are your... Uh, you know, your uh, five transport rides starting out, guys. So we don't know. I'm sure there'll be more coming. I'm sure there might be regular chairlifts, stuff like that when the updates start happening. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to jump in and show you guys that and really just kind of really get your thoughts and feedback on the uh, on the uh, Bonobo uh, Peninsula here or their little island they have out here of sorts. And uh, but anyways, yeah, I'll jump on out of here. I'm going to get back to work on some things, maybe start some Got a couple ideas we want to start over here. Uh, might let the people back in. Like I said, it was getting crazy when we did the uh, did the, the tortoise, the giant Galapagos tortoise exhibit. They were, uh, it was getting a little, kind of like a little madhouse in here. So there's the, there's the new little baby. That is Kaliapa, little male. Probably have to get rid of him eventually. But yeah, so anyways, guys, I'm SDN Wolf. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'm going to go try to get these monkeys fed over here, these primates fed. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll uh, continue on. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. See you.